At five, an Atlanta News First investigation involving Georgia cities accused of using their police forces for profit. Atlanta News First investigative reporter Andy Parati uncovered a loophole in the law that allows cities to collect large shares of their budget from traffic citations here, Andy. Yeah, experts call this citation through taxation, taxation through citation, actually, and ticketed drivers we spoke with say it's made them question the police department's motives. <laughs> Order T-67, your order's ready. Sophia Farisi's family business must sell a lot of pies to make a profit. The margarita, this one is also a top seller, but our best seller is just like a typical cheese slice. Thank you. <laughs> While her Atlanta pizzeria counts on repeat customers to stay open, Sophia recently visited a small Georgia town. She believes relies on too much dough from out-of-town drivers to exist. He comes behind me and he starts, you know, the sirens go off and whatever. So I pull over and I'm like thinking the worst. This past January, police ticketed Sophia for an expired tag while driving through the city of Dillard, about two hours north of Atlanta. This is the picture she took of her traffic stop. It cost her about $200. According to the Georgia Department of Community Affairs, Dillard collected $315,000 from fines and forfeitures in 2022. That's 44% of the entire city's budget for a town of about 300 people. Numbers don't lie, so you see the percentages, and if the number is that high, I mean, it's definitely more about making money than keeping people safe. While Dillard isn't the only city that banks on traffic citations for a big slice of its budget, an Atlanta News First investigation uncovered no other town in the state relies on the profit from its police force more than the city of Lenox, which covers less than two square miles in South Georgia. In 2022, it collected $1.3 million from citations. That's nearly 73% of the town's budget. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it's crazy. Atlanta News First Investigates spoke to a dozen drivers ticketed by Lennox police this year. This is a scam. All say the amount of citation revenue the city collects makes them question the police department's motives. And I do think it creates somewhat of a distrust with your your law enforcement. And it makes you just question how valid a lot of these citations are. Of the 361 citations police issued for the first two months of this year, records show just five were on Lenox streets, the remaining Interstate 75, which runs straight through the city. That sounds like uh, the old TV show, The Dukes of Hazard. Come into my parlor, said the spider to the bee. They've created a police force to be a revenue generating operation in that town. You city boys have no idea. When the Lennox police chief and the mayor declined to be interviewed, we drove three hours south of Atlanta to attend council, its city council meeting. With so much revenue coming from traffic citations, some question what's the real motive? Safety or raising revenue? Do you understand that concern? It stops no one unless they're doing over 90 miles, 90 miles an hour of that. It's hard to hear, but that's Mayor Henry Baker explaining that his officers only ticket drivers who speed more than 90 miles per hour. But Atlanta News first uncovered the first two months of this year, 40% of his citations were for non-speeding offenses like tinted windows and obscured license plates. Could your city operate or even exist without all of this traffic citation revenue? I have no comment on that. Okay. I have no comment is how he responded. While the mayor declined to answer our question, here's what a member of the city's fire department told us. If you took then it goes that to revenue the away from a town like this, the town would become a ghost town. Ghost town is what he just said. Georgia law allows the Department of Public Safety to revoke speed detection device permits from cities when ticket revenue exceeds 35% of the police department's budget. But that cap only involves tickets for speeding, a loophole that allows cities to collect as much revenue as they want from other traffic offenses. To see what cities collect the most revenue from traffic citations, we have a map that we posted online in this story on Atlanta News First. Com. Andy Parati, Atlanta News First.
investigates.